Abby, how is your hair looking so scrumptious right now? I can hear you asking. <laughs> Well, my hair is looking like this thanks to Curl Mix, who are the sponsors of this video. As you know, I have been experimenting with wash and goes. I'm not a wash and go kind of gal, but I don't want to completely kind of like write them off because I know it's probably because I hadn't found the correct products for me to get a wash and go that I actually like, um, which may have changed now. But yeah, for this wash and go, I have used the Curl Mix Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. It's the first time that I've used these products, so I'm gonna be going through and sharing with you my first impressions. And stay tuned to the end where I share my final thoughts and final review of the wash and go system. So if you wanna see exactly how I use these products to get these results, then stay tuned. Okay, so starting off in the shower, I'm going to be using the Pure Aloe Vera Shampoo. I don't really have a bad thing to say about the shampoo. It's really, it's got a really nice creamy consistency. As you can see here, it lathers up really nice and quickly and gave me quite a nice thick lather. It's got a decent amount of slip, so I was actually able to kind of finger detangle my hair whilst the shampoo was on it. It says that it's a clarifying shampoo which removes buildup, which it definitely does. When I rinse to my hair my hair felt very clean my scalp felt very clean but it did not feel dry or stripped or brittle at all it felt moisturized but super super clean which is literally all that i look for in a shampoo when i was first applying the pure grapeseed conditioner i wasn't sure whether it was going to be moisturizing enough for my hair i had to use a lot of it on each section and it was quite a lightweight formula however once i did rinse the conditioner out my hair did feel super super moisturized and as it says in the bottle it is definitely hydrating with loads of slip the slip was insane for this conditioner so overall it was good i just think it felt a little bit more of a light formula than what i'm used to so i applied the conditioner and detangled all four sections and left the conditioner on my hair whilst i washed my body and then i rinsed it out with cold water before getting out of the shower Once out of the shower, I kept my hair in the four sections that I was working in before. Here is my hair without any product applied and it felt so, so soft after shampooing and conditioning. The next product that I went in with is the Pure Avocado Moisturizer. I think this is my favorite product out of the Wash & Go kit. This product feels so good when applying it to my hair. You can just see how it kind of instantly melts into my hair and starts to clump my curls together. It felt so, so good. So I applied a generous amount to each quarter of my hair. And as you can see, it's given my hair shine and definition. And we've not even got to the gel yet. As you can see, my hair is nice and bouncy and super, super defined. My curls are clumping together. They have so much movement and so much volume, even though my hair is still wet. One thing that I loved about this is that all my curls were super, super defined, but super separated. So I could kind of tell that I was already going to get a really good amount of definition as well as volume once my hair dries. Here you can see I'm kind of celebrating before my hair's even finished because I'm feeling hateful about how great these products are feeling right now. So I just apply the Pure Avocado Moisturizer on all four sections before going in with the Pure Flaxseed Gel. As you can see, this gel is quite a lightweight formula. So again, I wasn't sure how this was going to work, but because the Pure Avocado Moisturizer was more of a thicker consistency and started the curl defining process, the Flaxseed Gel kind of just locked in the definition rather than adding any additional definition. It kind of just needed to lock in the definition that the Pure Avocado Moisturizer had already provided, which is why the lightweight formula worked perfectly. This is what the back of my hair looked like once both the moisturizer and the gel have been applied. And then this is what my hair looks like overall once all products are applied. As you can see, loads of movement, super, super defined, but my curls are super separated at the same time. To reduce shrinkage and to increase definition, Curl Mix recommend diffusing rather than air drying. I do usually air dry, but I thought I would just follow the recommendations of Curl Mix on this occasion. I didn't diffuse till it was all the way dry, maybe like 80% of the way dry, and then I allowed my hair to air dry the rest of the time. The next day, this is what my hair was looking like. I am really confused by how my hair feels right now but like confused in a good way like my hair feels amazing right now but I'm so <laughs> I'm so confused because 
my hair has never felt like this before it's never looked like this before it's never felt like this before but it feels so good so it's amazingly soft let's just say that and there is so much movement i feel like it's really enhanced my texture i feel like sometimes with wash and go products you get the definition but the definition comes because the product has kind of weighed down your hair and almost changed the texture of it to enhance the curl but i feel like my texture is really enhanced like look how defined so this is the loosest section of my hair so my curls are still quite small here but it's the loosest texture so all of these are super super defined but then on the back where my hair is more coily and quite tight tight curls it's still very much coily hair but it's still super defined like my texture hasn't been changed to get the definition it's just enhanced my real texture i honestly don't think i've ever had this much volume from a wash and go before on the first day that i wear it out um so this is crazy to me sorry i'm really baffled by how good my hair looks and feels right now these products have my hair looking and feeling i i would say almost perfect not sure about you guys but i think this is the perfect wash and go i can tell that this is gonna last for days i'm not a wash and go kind of girl as you guys know but from now on when i do do a wash and go i am reaching for these curl mix products 100 percent so i highly highly recommend trying out the curl mix products i do honestly believe that it's the process from the shampoo all the way to the gel that helps with the process I am a big believer that whether your hair comes out good or not, it starts in the shower. Your wash, your shampoo and your conditioner are as important as your styling products are. Um, there have been times when I've used uh, shampoo and conditioner that aren't great and then gone on to stylers that usually work great for my hair and my hair just doesn't come out the same. So with this curl mix kit, I do genuinely think that it's the four step process that has got my hair looking like this. It is a yes from me, Abby Curls approved. <laughs>